Okay, my name is Peter. My name is Peter Side. Ida Peter Side, uh, ex international, from all everything. And uh, <laughs> I'm a pastor, uh, I'm a TV uh, presenter. Yeah. Okay. Um, recently, we, we caught the news. Of course, we know you are very active on social media. We caught the news that you recently um, had your first child. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 a, it's a fantastic news and it's a touching news. Um, uh, could you share a little during your waiting period? How wow, does it look like? Wow, wow. It wasn't easy. It wasn't eleven years, married to one woman, and you you're a pastor preaching and you know telling people God can do it. God can do it. And my wife fell sick in that period, and the doctors the doctors didn't give us a good report. She was very sick for 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 months and years. And um, but we still believed God, and uh, she got pregnant, had a wonderful bath, the baby's well, and and we thank God. Eleven years, it's not eleven days. No, it's, it's not. That's, that's over a decade. <laughs> yes. I, I saw I saw a couple of pictures. You know when you were when you were carrying the baby freshly at yeah. the um, theater. Yes. Um, yeah. I I could see. Yes, it was just a picture, but I could see the excitement. But could you share your excitement when you carried your baby? What was it uh, like? Unbelievable, unbelievable. You know what you've been waiting for. You know the the difficulty is the nine months, and you know there's a baby in there, but it has not come out. And you have these thoughts. I hope this will go right. You're praying that this will happen. You know the day once the baby came, the doctors gave me and said that's your child. You know it, bro it broke me. It broke me that I've trusted God for for 11 years, and um, after 11 years. Baby finally comes. What, a, what, a, what an experience! We, we, we thank God. We thank God. But mm. okay, so um, you are here at the um, ITO NFF Awards. Yes. It's. Um, it's. I'm not sure you had this where during your own playing days. Mm -hmm. but, so this initiative. It's the second edition. Uh, what What do you think? How, what does it mean for players, both um, professional? All of them are professional, but bo yeah, both yeah. local it, and. Um, it's, it's a massive experience, and I spoke to Amaju about it, and I said thank you. You know, thank you. Well, all those years we played, I played for Nigeria, we played. It's like nobody remembers you. You know, and the generation of young people that are coming, they look at you. Sometimes they don't even know that you played football. But to be recognized and you come into the football fraternity and people are taking notes. Oh, he played, so he played. Oh, wow, he played. You know, it just brings back great memories. I've been with the other players. Uh, um, then along, Okach was my roommate. Some other guys, you know, all been Finidi and Finidi played together. We played for Sharks together. You know, it's what an ex what an experience. What a what an experience, and it's just beautiful to know uh, uh, that uh, the NFF still recognizes that. There were legends and people that played football for this country. Talk about legends. Um, the 1994 set, of course, um, a lot has been said about them. They, they were the, they, they were the first African team to be ranked number five in the world, and then um, they qualified Nigeria for the first World Cup. They won the Nations Cup during their time. So it was a, it was like a lot of accolades for them. They are going to be recognized or not this evening. How does that also mean? Well, it, it means a lot. It, again, when you look at that 94, it hurts for those of us that were home-based players. I was in the camp with the team for two years, you know, and during the time of the World Cup, they drop you because you're playing at home. But we still relate because they all know that we all built that team from yeah. training sessions. to I, I, I were not pushovers. Oh, yes, we had top, top, top. So for you, remember, I and Taribo and Ike were dropped. At that yeah, time, yeah. Uh, and, to, and Babangida. So just imagine the kind of player yeah, stuff we had yeah. at that time. But it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I feel I'm part of the team because I contributed to to the rising of the team, and it's a great honor to know that and the legends have been recognized. Two things. Two things more. One is what is what what has changed from then and now. That, as in, talk about the legends of '94 mm -hmm. and the rest of the Super Eagles team. That's one. Then number two, so that I don't take your time. Number two is Nigeria are going to the Nations Cup. First time in the summer, first time 24 teams. What are our chances? Yes, for the for the Nations Cup going, I think we're Nigeria. Nigeria is Nigeria. You can, you know, a country of 200 million, but we just can't write us off. Yeah. So we're a solid side. 
you know, but to, to compare, sometimes we don't like to compare because the technicalities are different, the environment is different. You know, when we played, the noise wasn't that much. You, you understand now there's social media yeah. that is like you're exposed in everything you do. So most sense people didn't even know who the Nigerian players are, mm. except ardent followers of your, the teams so you, that you played for. You know, but the pressure that they face now, I think, is more because your life is in the open, whatever, whatever you do. Oh, okay. yeah.